Somewhere in Kirinyaga County, this place is known for its massive production of rice. According to the 2019 Kenya Economic Survey, the scheme yields about 90,000 tons of rice annually. While rice has changed the lives of many here, its husks are seen as worthless. But not for Samuel Rigo. The Ngurubani native manufactures organic manure by using rice husks. The process begins by putting dry branches in this chimney. It is then covered with husks. This helps it to burn with less carbon. Here we are using the, the rice husks, but it, we can also use other materials like bagasse. Uh, we can use coffee husk, uh, macadamia husk, and others. So once we acquire this from the farmers, we buy it from the farmers. Uh, when we have it, we pass it through a process which we call pyrolysis, or burning it under limited oxygen, just the way you would burn charcoal. So uh, our reactor allows us to do that. Once we have, uh, we have burned it under limited oxygen, we get what we call biochar. After a few hours, the husks are already burned to the desired state. Then it is inserted into this machine for grinding. Now, biochar is a good soil amender. However, it doesn't have the nutrients. So we take it to the next process whereby we mill it to reduce, actually to reduce the, uh, the bulkness of the product. And then we add special nutrient, a special nutrient mix, which contains several things. One is alga, uh, we have a folia, and we have uh, a vermicomposting uh, from uh, from plants. Uh, we are trying to make them uh, organic and natural in the best of our ability so that we can guarantee the farmers that we are giving you a product that will not only increase your yields but also will change your soils to the better. After the process is done, the organic fertilizer is packaged ready for distribution. But how did Rigo start this project? My background is in agribusiness, so I thought, what if we take this back to the farm? What would really happen? So we got one farmer, Mr. Dan, and we asked him to try it. So our deal was, you try it, if it works, you pay us. If it doesn't work, fine. Uh, we agree, it, uh, it didn't work. <coughs> so when we gave Mr. Dan our product to try, he actually doubled his yield for that season. And he was so much excited that he invited us for a goat eating. What are the benefits of this fertilizer to the environment? Uh, previously, for example, rice husk was to be burned in the open and release a lot of uh, emissions to the environment. Currently, we are saving that. And uh, from uh, research, and peer-reviewed articles, it is shown that our product has the capacity of reducing an equivalent of 1.7 tons of CO2 from the environment for every acre of land we are using our product. So in terms of uh, farming, we say we are carbon negative. So the best we are trying to say is let's reduce the emissions uh, while recycling west. Back at the rice paddies in Moya, we meet Frederick Muthike. The farm has been using organic fertilizer for some time now on his two acre farm. Kama vile nimeona yale mambo nimepitia hapa, kama wakulimu wangejua wangeanza kutumia organic fertilizers, ndiyo ziweze kuweka mchanga katika hile level ina itanjika ya asent. Sabu niliona hizi zingine tukitumia kama hizi za inorganic. Mchanga unakuwa na asendi mingi. Sasa ukipanda kitu kinachomwa na hile asendi. Unaona unaenda asara. Sabu kwanza ukipanda mchere ichomwa na hiyo asendi. Sasa kuja kupanda tena unafanya kazi marambiri. Mothike, who is also a teacher, understands well enough 
the need of using organic fertilizer. Kama ingewezekana watu wapunguze matumizi ya chemicals na kama watatumia watumie zile ziko kwa upande wa organic. Ndio at least kila kitu kiwe kinakaa katika levo yake. Sababu tukitumia hizi chemicals zingine sana zitaenda juu kwa upande ule mbaya ziaze kuharibu mchanga na pia sisi wenyewe kutuharibu. It is clear that what is regarded as trash can be used to better lives and productivity in our farms. Soil fertility is critical in addressing food insecurity in the country. It is therefore necessary for farmers to embrace the use of organic farming to boost their production. Dan Kaburu K24, the voice of nature in Krenyaga County.